Okay, hi. Good afternoon. Okay, I'm from a slightly different part of NIE slash NTU. I come from this entity called uh, PACE, which stands for Professional and Continuous Education. Okay, I'm Justice, you can call me JTV1. Um, and today I'm going to cover a slightly different topic, which is uh, beyond just purely the educational landscape. Uh. I mean, as a education as in education as a career. Okay, so in case some of you still don't know, uh, hang on, huh? Okay. Yeah, okay. In case you still never heard of the name NTU before, we are Nanyang Technological University. Okay. So I won't bore you with the history of it. You can look it up. But basically, we are a 60 over year old, 60 over year university in Singapore of 10 US. Okay. Um, at a glance, plenty of students, plenty of staff. Plenty of alumni. Okay. Uh, what I'm interested to share with you is an overview of what PACE represents. So PACE is the entity in NTU that actually does continuous education, and we do this in many many forms. Okay. So we can have all sorts of training, uh, flexi masters under us, graduates under us. Uh, this thing called SCTP. I will come into more detail with that. We have global education. All these things are under. Us. So basically, a lot. We cover a lot. And um, okay. So essentially, we. All these and all these mechanisms that we have supports all of us in empowering lifelong learning. So we are a lifelong learning institute, okay, preparing you for the future. That's very important, okay, and a bridge between government, um, corporates, and education. So we are part of the ecosystem that is trying to build everything up. Okay, so at, at a glance, uh, we have actually got a lot. We have sixty over masters and flexi masters program. So I don't think I know. Overwhelming with too much details, but basically almost every conceivable area we have master's program and also the concept of flexi masters, which is a stackable ma master's method. Okay, but what I'm interested to pursue on the topic this afternoon is this concept called the SCTP Skills Future, Skills Future Career Transition Program. Now this is going to be one, it's not unique to NTU by the way, it's, uh, various other uh, institutions of learning have also offered these programs. But one very unique feature of SCTP is that it's not meant for you to pick up education for the sake of education per se. It's actually meant to do two things for us. Number one, people who are interested to progress from career A to career B. And number two is people who are already in a career that is, you want to enhance your performance, you want to enhance your success. So these are the two criteria and the criteria matter because the program is meant to fund people in these two categories. So it's not something you learn for interest, you're just interested in this topic, you can learn. There are many other mechanisms you can do that. SCTP is a specialized focus for this type of people who want to have a career transition in, in the course of their life and their, their career progression. Okay. So uh, in NTU, we cover six areas, South, uh, cloud engineering, software development, uh, data analytics, digital marketing, UI UX and the last newest one we have just incorporated is sustainability. Okay, so right now we have six programs running. We are likely to put up another three or four more in the course of this year. Things like AI, machine learning, perhaps fintech, perhaps data science. Okay, so these are the few areas we are working on to launch in the coming months. Okay, so as I mentioned, the very interesting thing about SCTP is that we don't just study something, we study it in order for possible career transition. So this is a good way to look at it. If I want to go into a career space, right, then this is meant to facilitate and help you to build sufficient foundation knowledge and skills, uh, skills for you to move properly into those careers. Okay, but it is uh, foundation laying. Uh, it's not, it doesn't make you an expert, but it gives you sufficient capability to go into that career space and be competitive for it. Right? Um, so yeah, this is just a sampling of what kind of uh, roles you can basically consider. Okay, so allow me to just uh, set the context a bit bigger. So if any of you have heard of Industry 4.0, you've heard of this term that floats around, right? So um, I will just use one word. Um, industry, we are living in an age where they are characterized by two things, digitization and digitalization. Meaning to say, everything we do now is in digital form, right? You order a pizza, it's digital form. And the digital form is actually right on a platform. So things like your cloud, these are platforms. So the world of tomorrow basically has these two main thrusts. And education is no different. Education is not spent. 
Okay, uh, as you know, COVID has taught us that our kids are now learning online more than offline, right? At least during COVID time. So content has been digitized, it's pushed out through a digital platform. So this is the future. I like a quote which I picked up along the way when I was doing some of these slides. Um, somebody says that in today's world, if you don't know digitization, it's as good as not knowing English. Okay? If you don't know digitization, it's as good as not knowing English. This is the new reality. All right? It's pervasive, it's here to stay. So, um, in fact, we talk about Industrial 4.0, we're already in Industrial 5.0. Uh, which is interesting, huh? personalization and humanization. So you talk about education, right? Linking back to, it's all about the human being, right? The child and so on, right? So the industry 5.0 moving into the future is very much about people, it's very much about education. Uh, and the impact on the education profession is considered very significant, actually, right? Um, so, for example, uh, challenge and opportunities in education, if you have... Uh, picked up additional skill sets in all this digitization. Uh, you can go into a lot of personalized, personalized learning, enhanced engagement of your students, accessibility right online and all that, efficiency in assessment, uh, professional development. Uh, you can also have brings about challenges right, because it now challenges the role of teachers. So while our colleagues are talking about all of you are interested to become teachers, right? Teaching profession, very good. But it does come with challenge. If you don't pick up some of this technology, you are going to have a hard time trying to be a good teacher in today's context. Okay? So the digital divide, uh, a lot of ethical issues. Ethical, for example, right? Very interesting question popped up. If you are a teacher and you assign your students homework and they produce a report based on chat GPT, you fail the student or you pass the student? That's an ethical question, right? Right? So anybody has the answer? Student produces a report, everything from chat GPT, pass or fail? something to think about, right? So that's the challenge of education. Uh, it also makes the student's life difficult because now I expect a lot more from them. I don't expect you to produce something that is so basic anymore, right? Because your access to information is not fantastic, you know, right? In one second, I can produce material from a million articles. So imagine the amount of content you have to deal with and the expectation that teaching and education has from students these days. Basically, the kids have to be smart, very smart to do well. And then, of course, all the training aspects. Okay, so this just give me a bit of context. So these are the various areas. In addition to a teaching profession, for example, you can also continue to strengthen and broaden your capabilities in teaching. Say, EduTech is a very, very hot area. Digital learning. Uh, a lot of assessments are now very, also very digitized. Okay, and of course, um, uh, research consultancy, and which means that you have to have a lot of analytics skills in order to do well. Okay. So whether you are, I, I think a very big spectrum of people, very young to slightly not less young, less young people. So regardless of what is your educational situation, what is your career situation, um, sometimes you need to consider some of this extra help that you might need to further your career process, career um, progress. Okay, so in NTU, the equation is very simple. For SCTP, the equation is very simple. We train, we provide the education, but at the same time, we also try to look after your employability because as I mentioned, right, SCTP is different. Huh? It's not, you don't study for the sake of studying, right? You are studying to transition to career. So the career piece, people like me, exist because of that, right? And so that we can maximize your opportunity for a proper and successful transition into new careers or new roles within the same careers. Okay, so the program is very important. This is the buzzword here. We design and curate everything to remain very industry relevant. That's the key word. We have to be prepare you for what the industry needs today and tomorrow. Okay, so it's not a lot of extra stuff, but we make sure you get the basics. Okay, I will just stop here for today. I won't go into the details. Maybe one more um, information which I did put in my slides. So they talk about the funding out there. So the SCDP program is basically highly funded by Skills Future. Below 40, you are 70% subsidized. Above 40, you are 90% subsidized. So that's a lot, okay? And then on top of that, if you have skills, uh, skills credit, la, skills future credit, blah, 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 right? You can almost attend, uh, there are some students actually attend for free because they have enough to cover the cost fee. I mean, I'm not trying to sell it in that sense, but I just want you to understand the two things. Uh, the amount of uh, investment the government is making into this kind of education uh, in order for Singaporeans and PRs to make that transition successfully. So it's a big thing and it's an important thing in Singapore's educational landscape and career landscape moving forward. Okay, so it's very important. 
right? So think about it. If you need any help, please uh, feel free to approach us and uh, make life simple. You want more information, you need some guidance, just remember this WhatsApp, which is my number. You just WhatsApp, we try to help you guys out, okay? So nothing complicated about it, right? Ken, thank you very much.